Are you asking about smart hospital or smart parking? Uh, the first smart parking. Idea, smart parking, yeah? Okay. That's why I mentioned, Teddy. Uh, it's not just about providing a digital app and making your payment through the app. Yeah, yeah. Of course, we have that because that's the means to making the uh, payment. But we provide it as a service that includes um, facilitating the payment, facilitating the booking of uh, reserved parking lots, facilitating the uh, parking guidance, uh, and then eventually building other app, uh, use cases around it as well, including like, for example, you want to pay for, um, uh, for loyalty programs and stuff, Both, but those will be much later. So right now, today, that's the application side, right? But what is not usually mentioned are things like, for example, uh, when the local government authority say, you didn't, you, tak bayar, you didn't pay for your parking, what happens? You, cannot, you get a compound, right? So the compounding uh, application is also built into the system, but not for the end user, it's for the authorities to use. So the authorities can enforce through the system. Uh, the authorities can make use of our system to inventorize and to find out if any of the parking uh, equip, uh, what called base are functioning or not functioning. Uh, whether the parking base are availability, uh, availability are being monitored and provided as part of the whole infrastructure as well. And including the maintenance, of, uh, so our service contracts provides also uh, the, the facility management of all the parking base to make sure that the parking base doesn't have a lubang there, doesn't have equipment, uh, you know, cruci, oh, nice. book there and things like that. Uh, so it's a little bit, it's a whole lot more than just the parking app, but we do have the parking app for sure. Put a surveillance system in the Johor for the parking areas, right? So pa make, uh, I mean, like it is like integrated system. Like you can see the reserve parking where, and you and you also must have like the surveillance system to check whether the <laughs> parking had something uh, like you, you know the cruci and everything. Yeah, like yeah. So like it's working that. towards that because those are the pain points of the local council, and we listen and we hear and we say, okay, these are the things that we need to integrate. Yes. So that's why we call ourselves integrated uh, service provider. It's because we need to integrate the systems so that it doesn't stand alone by itself. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that's true. And another one would be the smart hospital. I wonder how that works. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we are not ready to, ex uh, to, to, to share the, 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 the developments yet, but you can certainly see things on providing second opinion and get, uh, aided opinions for the doctors in identifying a particular uh, health concern. So that's one area that we are uh, uh, looking at smart healthcare or smart uh, treatment, I would say treatment, smart diagnostics. Uh, in health, so that's one element we are looking at. We are also looking at smart hospital in terms of automating workflows within the hospital, uh, in, in terms of facility. So that's also another area that we are developing technologies for. I think okay. that's all. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks for the question. Can thank I skip the from, from the floor? It's a tough question, right? <laughs> hi, Michael. Hi. Yeah, hi. Um, since IT Max has already penetrated into Johor, mm. um, can you share with us any update on Sabah, Penang, and other states, probably? Work in progress. <laughs> also, I no, you're, you're asking me to a answer a question in public when I have also other competitors that may be looking there, right? So work in progress, yeah. Okay, fair enough. So, also, um, Considering it, your AI image processing is so powerful, do you consider venturing into other verticals? Oh yes, certainly. So not just about, as I mentioned, with healthcare, uh, it's certainly one area we're going into. Application development into also enterprise market, uh, building management, facility management. I, I think we see all those things as part of where we can grow towards. You see, the, the focus that ITMAX comes in is not so much of selling technologies. We are, we, some people may say, oh, IT Max, when they hear the word IT Max, they say, oh, this is a CCTV distributor. Lah. No, we are not. It just so happened that we use CCTV. We use IoT devices. But nowhere in, when you go and see our clients, you will not see or uh, we sell them and specifically what cameras, what brands, or what models, or what IoT sensors. We provide for them applications. So here we can actually replicate uh, some of the applications across verticals from uh, local authorities into co uh, co uh, what we call healthcare, 
and also into other enterprise markets as well. So yes, the uh, answer that, to that question. Thank you. Any further questions? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Yeah, hi. Um, um, thank you for your presentation, Mr. Michael. Um, to the best of your knowledge, would you be able to share the total addressable market, um, perhaps in Johor or, or perhaps um, in Malaysia as a whole? I, <laughs> I would love to say it's unlimited, but of course, there's always a limit, right? But I think, like I said, if I, I'm not here to sell equipments and products and technology. I'm here to sell services. And when I talk about services, I think the sky is the limit for us. Today, when we started, we were talking about traffic management. But today, I have use cases for traffic management, city management, public safety, and I'm going to healthcare, I'm going into other functions. And func uh, so pretty much, if you look at the GDP of the country, I think that's supposed to be where I will target after law. <laughs> but I, of course, there, uh, no, I mean, the market is big enough for a lot of players to, to share, I suppose. Okay, Hi. thank you. If there's no further questions, on behalf of Hong Yang Investment Bank and Bursa Malaysia, I would like to thank Mr. Michael for sharing his insight with us today. Now, I would like to invite Mr. Wan Khairuddin to present our token of appreciation to Mr. Michael. Please give our speaker a round of applause. 